Hello and welcome to Right Now for Wednesday the 6th of December 2017, I'm Tim Wilms. In an announcement that appears to be timed with the latest revelations about Labor Senator Sam Dastyari's links with China, the Turnbull government will introduce legislation that will ban foreign donations not just from political parties but from any organisation that engages in political campaigning. These laws are designed to target activist groups such as GetUp, which the coalition over recent months has stepped up its attacks on. However, as I've stated before in their quest to get GetUp uh, with such laws, there will be unintended consequences for their own side of politics with organisations such as the Institute of Public Affairs who could get caught up in such regulations. Now that all members of the House have completed their citizenship declarations, there are now four Labor MPs under a dual citizenship cloud. Josh Wilson, Justine Key, David Feeney and Susan Lamb join Labor Senator Katie Gallagher in most likely being referred to the High Court. This is especially embarrassing for Bill Shorten, who for months has told us Labor's vetting processes were first class uh, while he whacked the coalition for their own citizenship woes. Three of these Labor MPs are in marginal seats, which makes any possible by-election a major contest. David Feeney is the most high-profile Labor MP to be caught up in the citizenship saga. He apparently cannot find his renunciation documents of his British and Irish citizenship. Some may remember he forgot to declare an investment property during last year's federal election. The former president of Yemen, Ali Abdul Sahir, has been killed by the Iranian-backed Houthi rebels after he stated he wanted to negotiate with Saudi Arabia. The Saudis have been blockading the Houthi-controlled territory of Yemen, which is resulting in a major humanitarian crisis as food supplies are being blocked and a child is dying every 10 minutes from malnourishment. This conflict does not get the international attention and scrutiny it deserves. It's disgraceful that the United States has been assisting Saudi Arabia to carry out this war crime as part of our bizarre alliance with this nation, which is governed by Sharia law, which has for decades denied women basic rights. United States President Donald Trump's travel ban on six Muslim-majority nations has been approved by the nation's Supreme Court. It has been revised several times since it was first enacted in January. Since then, activist judges in the federal courts have been striking it down. There are still several other aspects of the ban being challenged in the federal courts, which still need to make their way up to the Supreme Court, who in keeping with this ruling will most likely approve them. This is a significant victory for Trump and allows him to fulfill a key election promise to strengthen the United States national security and implement strong vetting of people who enter the United States. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and check back here again soon to see what is happening right now there.